Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here again within the Cursed Estate and we are on episode 99. We're getting so close. I was unsure what to do for episode 100. I was kind of tempted to go into the Darkest Dungeon, but I don't think we're quite prepared. I think we're going to end up going to the farmstead and trying to fight the next boss there for episode 100. I think that'd be quite fun. It's kind of like a bonus extra length episode because farmstead normally runs a little longer. So people can give me some tips on who to build the classes I should go with for that. That could be quite fun. Uh, but right now, we're going to head into the wield. We do have the um, the collector here as well. But we've got this team going on. We've got Canis. We've got um, Rayla. We've got Nick. And we've got Octavia. Octavia is going to be our main healing source. She does have low HP, but I'm thinking with the dodge and then the bonus dodge from Invigorating Vapors. This healing and everything should be enough to carry on everyone. Then we have Nick as well with the massive, massive buff to stress healing and reduce stress. As well as I just thought I'm, uh, he's got low HP and I was unsure whether to give him extra prot. Or, uh, or something like that. But instead, I opted to just go for this. We cancel out the extra stress completely and just get 20 dodge for 55. Plus all the bonus that we're going to get from Vapors. Which means he basically can't be hit. Which means what we can actually do is use this skill here, the uh, Protect Me and Mark, to mark Nick. And then Nick will basically never get hit. Uh, so that's, that's going to be pretty good. Um, really, here is going with the accuracy uh, crit. Nice crit chance there. As well as the Otherworldly Bell. Minus 15% damage is counteracted by the plus 15 for being in the wield, so that's really nice. Um, and then we have Canis with the Handmade Bracer for the extra damage, extra armor piercing, extra speed, uh, and then the extra damage on top of that for some really, really, really high damage. Um, should be doing quite a lot with her, especially almost once we turn to werewolf form. Everyone here is level 5, so we should hopefully get everyone leveled up. This is, of course, a medium mission. So we're going to jump in with our provisions, and we're going for this here, which is extra accuracy and scouting chance. Seems pretty useful. I like the idea of it. Uh, and yeah, let's just let's just get in and get everyone ready. Oh, one thing to do first before we do that is let's just check that everyone's skilled up because that's something I've been forgetting to do more and more recently and it's it's something that I really shouldn't be forgetting because it's very important. So let's uh, scroll up and just make sure. Around. Yeah, see, exactly. So let's just do all of these. We are going to spend quite a lot of money here, most likely. I'm just going to level everything up on you guys. And everything up on you guys. And there you go. I'm very glad that I made sure to do this because this is going to make these guys a bunch more potent. Did spend a ton of money there, but I think it's okay. I think I think we could uh, excuse it. But anyways, yes, yeah, going to a medium one, level five in the wield. I think this should be pretty good. And we have a very, very good setup to do quite a lot of damage here. We're not going to be getting the bonus from Marked or anything like that, but I think... Overall, this is going to be really, really, really strong. Uh, so let's just, yeah, get our provisions and jump on in. I'm going to be buying pretty much everything up here because we might end up fighting the Collector. And I don't want to come across a difficult situation with that. I have enabled some new classes as well. We'll see if they come across as as we uh, progress forward here. But let's embark and let's get into the uh, diary entry for this episode. This is by Sophia, of course, the brilliant writer that's been writing for a lot of the characters for a long time. And this is for Sixth and Sunasis, uh joint diary entry. The weeks following the hag's death, Six had spent um, his days fl uh, flitting in and out of unconsciousness. His face was pale and his forehead covered in beads of sweat. Some of the town folk wondered if he had caught some disease on that fateful outing. Others thought that in his last breath, the hag had cursed him. Throughout the time, Sunasis had sat by his bedside, caring for his needs. And one day, Sunasis went back to check on him and found him missing. Worried, she asked the town and discovered he'd walked off to the cliffs over, um, over the hamlet, watching over the hamlet. She found him standing over, um, out, overlooking out over the world below. Despite weeks spent bedridden, he seemed stronger than when he'd killed the hag. He spoke, in, uh, he spoke as soon as this approached, not turning to face her. You believe the rumours of the town folk? Have, uh, what they've said about my condition? They think me cursed or ailed. Some perhaps wonder if I'm mad. Of course I don't. He shook his head wearily. He stood over me all that time, taking care of me. I was out for so long, but I knew you were by my side. Do you know what? Um, do you know why I was unconscious these past few weeks? Sunasis didn't speak, but both of them knew she had answered anyways. I remember everything. My name. My parents, my hobbies, my younger brother, 
How did I forget about Zack? His smile would light up my day. He's b uh, buried here, you know, on this hill. I'm so sorry, Sunasis said, uh, her vo voice barely a whisper. It doesn't hurt to know so much as it feels uh, numb. Six voice sounded hollow. You're probably wondering what my name was, aren't you? It was Frederick. That's not my name now. What do you mean? Frederick was a different man than I am today. It isn't mine. Six exhaled deeply. The name I have chosen is Lucian, for if I must bear the beast's mark, I shall bear his name as well. Lucian turned to her then, and she could see that there were tears in his eyes. My god. I absolutely love this story and this, like, pairing of the two characters. Sophia has crafted some really good narratives with the character, and Six has been one that, throughout this entire series, I've been really, really interested in. And it's, it's really cool to see his story finally come to a conclusion with the hag's death. Really awesome. Super enjoyed. Super, super enjoyed that. We're going to be getting a lot of surprises here. I think we have some surprises between these guys. Of course, we're mainly going to be starting off with Battle Ballad here from Nick. But he's also going to be doing a few other bits and bobs as we go. Strike on you first. Uh, and then, obviously, you're just going to be using the Vapors. For pretty good heals across the board, we're going to be getting um, heals of four and up to eight, as you just saw. Um, healing is, I will say, a little bit light on this, uh, this team. A little bit light. But, we do have some other skills that can heal, that can heal stuff, and obviously we have food about and stuff. I'm just, uh, it, it depends on the end, the enemies we end up getting. That's not good. That's, that's actually really, really bad. But, we have the repairs and stuff here, so we'll end up getting rid of, uh, getting rid of this. And, I think we're gonna do that there. Double the crit is really good here, but the bleed is even more important, especially on a stealth enemy. I feel that's very important. But yeah, basically, as the vapors go, we should get that healing, but more importantly, we should start to take a lot less damage and a lot less hits. Of course, with how much dodge does he have now? Um, like 70-something, he still manages to get hit. That's great. But as you can see, dodges here are going to be coming in left, right, and center, really. We're going to be seeing quite a lot of them. Um... And we can also do something like this <laughs> to kill pretty much everything and heal up nicely. This is what I mean by having some extra healing. And then, of course, you have your own healing. And apart from Nick, everyone has their own version of healing. Oh my god, 26. That's mental. That is mental. Um, so Nick, Nick wants to be eating a bit of food here and there. Uh, we'll get rid of that as well. And make sure that we're looting as Octavia here for that extra bit of money. It's not like we desperately need it, but I think it could definitely help out. Definitely give us a little bit of bonuses. We are going for, um, explore 90% of rooms here, so we'll probably just pretty much go everywhere we can. Uh, trap-wise, we... We don't have an amazing disarm, but 80% is enough to make it work, as you just saw there. And, as well, this group is gonna be fantastic for stress healing. Do you have to? You have to? Do you have to, Nick? But yeah, this group is going to be really, really good for stress healing, I think. I think we're going to get a lot out of them. And let's go and see what we get here. Oh, the cicadas. We've seen these guys before. We know what, how much of a problem they can be if they're left to their own devices. So we want to be taking them out as quickly as possible. But yeah, the extra accuracy and crit here. We're going to be seeing a lot of crits. A lot of crits. Um, like that. Right there. Love this class. Ray, uh, Ray, Rayla? Ray, Ray, Rayla. I, I can never pronounce her name. I don't know why. Something about it just messes me up. Call of the Wild. The Wield, even. Yeah, that's the one we don't want because she starts getting prot going. I'm going to just keep on buffing this up. Gives everyone speed, gives everyone accuracy. It, it's, it's really good stuff. Sadly, the accuracy doesn't matter too much when we're doing that, though. Apparently not. We do get the prot as well from uh, Last Light, which is another great thing here. And then I did stick the Otherworldly Bell. Just, just in case Nick starts to get a little bit unhealthy during battles, there is a chance at least that we can get a little bit extra damage out there than we would normally see. I think that's going to help out quite nicely. I didn't put anyone in the um, in the treatment ward actually before this. I should have treated some quirks prior to this. Honestly, would have been a good idea, but ah, oh, I opened it with the wrong person. It kind of it's kind of annoying when you have Octavia. You have to open it with Octavia. I wish it just kind of remembered that she's on your team and just. Treated it like everyone has the same effects. You know what I mean? That would be a bit easier, in my opinion. Because we're going to be missing out on these minor antiques and all that sort of stuff. I don't know if she has a higher chance to find a Jude Tapestry, actually. I really don't know. 
Well, this might end up being a bit of a quicker mission here. Uh, we'll, we'll end up seeing if it is or not. Uh, yeah, don't touch anything, Nick. That's for us to grab, not for you. Packs oh, minor antiques. Good stuff. Often low on supplies. And this is a relatively hard fight, but we are getting the surprises. I think someone on our team has extra surprise chance. Also, by the way, look at Canis's stuff. She's got Monk's Mind for extra resists. She's got Prismic Calm for 30% less stress. My uh, Extra bleed resist on top of that bleed resist. And Optimist for uh, extra stress healing. She's got some great stuff with her. But who is it that's got the surprise chance? Someone's got the surprise chance on them. They've got to. On guard? No. Is it you, Octavia? I don't know. No one does. Maybe we're just getting really lucky right now. Bizarre. Bizarre. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to want to take these cicadas out first, if possible. Uh, it's not always going to be possible. But they are going to start buffing pro up on everything. And we want to try and get them low health uh, as soon as possible. Of course, Octavia takes a hit there. But but you got to remember, she is using the, um, the Martyrs, whatever it's called. I can't remember the name of it now. But once she gets hit, chance for restoration. Yet another bit of healing to stop us there. Uh, Going over the edge a bit too quickly. It's really, really nice actually having that. Um, I think we go like that and that kills both of you. Awesome. Yeah, let's let's check on that. Look. Uh, um, plus, to, uh, when hit, 50% uh, chance to get healed for two over three. Pretty damn good. And overall, this team, like, it looks like it's got less healing, but this team just has a lot of healing spread out. Normally, you kind of put all your eggs in one basket and, and lay everything on your healer. But, oh, that's unfortunate. But that hasn't been the case this time, and I think that's actually worked out really nicely for us. Now would be a great time for a beast transformation here. Nice dodge there. We're going to be seeing more and more dodges as that dodge goes up. And both of you are hit. A bleed on you as well. Good stuff. I think we can stack our dodge up to about 30. Yeah, plus 30. So you're on... You're on 85 dodge. That is mental. This is a very strong team. Sometimes I build groups that are just kind of random, like, oh, these guys are low level and haven't been out in a while. And it just ends up being fantastic. Octavia in the back line helping everyone out and making sure everyone's okay. Nick providing those extra buffs. And then Canis and Rilla in the front just really taking care of business is all I can say. Taking care of business is the way that you got to the way that you got to put it. Really, definitely take that. Get rid of them as well, and we'll head our way back this way. I hate to have to backtrack so much here, but it's what we got to do. But yeah, we are we are definitely nearing the end of this series. I'd say that we're probably fifteen episodes off of the end of the series at most, maybe less, depending on how much trouble we end up having with the darkest dungeons. I have a feeling because of the modded classes we're using, the darkest dungeons are going to be easier than they would otherwise be. Um, and then what we'll probably do after that is we'll probably take a short break at maybe a month or so. And then if people are still up for it, we'll we'll start up a second series uh, with some, some more difficulty-based mods on. And I'll go about introducing characters a little differently and we'll try and add people in a little slower and people can can forge more relationships. Because we've got, we've got a lot of new writers on, but of course, people aren't as attached to the characters because they joined in later in the series. So hopefully when people join later on uh, with the next series, they'll be jumping in from the ground floor and have a bit more attachment to some of the characters and a bit more want to write for them. I hope that's the case at least. So if people still want to do that, then please do let me know. But yeah, we'll probably take a, a short break from Darkest Dungeon afterwards and kind of compile our mod list and, and kind of plan for the next series. I've got some cool ideas for it coming up. So. Oh, we finally found the gallows tree. This is a mini boss that you can randomly face. Um, and it's it's a pretty tricky one. It's a pretty tricky one. Uh, coming across this at a level 5 uh, dungeon is um, a bit scary because I've never fought this thing before. I don't really know its resistances. It's got a lot of prop. We can see that. Uh, luckily, we do have the chance to apply some bleed here and there. The noose titans. Oh, God. That is very bad. <laughs> um... I'm not going to lie, I have absolutely no idea how to counteract this. It seems really bad. <laughs> we might end up losing someone here. We need it. We need to get that dodge going, but it's going to be kind of hard. Um, I 
I'm gonna activate repurse here. Marks, marking prevented is kind of nice there. Uh, you're gonna have to go back over there. <laughs> Noose Titans. If that's a guaranteed hit, which it looks like it is, that's gonna be pretty tough stuff. Like, with the amount of damage this thing isn't, isn't taking, this is gonna be pretty, pretty tough. It seems like it seems like when you get marked, it's completely unavoidable that, that that attack, which is really scary, really really scary. Okay, we can start getting the vapors out there. We need that for the dodge. We need it for the healing. Uh, this is good stuff. Once once we get that prot going, yeah, the the new titans seems unavoidable. The 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 stun chance seems relatively high. This is this is going to be kind of tough. Um. We just gotta keep going for the damage. Unfortunately, this thing's got a lot of props, so. Ooh, we even got a, a disease there as well. I didn't see what the disease was, but there's the gallows. Um, let's take a little look. Oh my god. This is some tough stuff, people. Let's just check what this is. Ah, bleed resist. That's not too bad for the dungeon that we're currently in. More crits there is fantastic. But this is this is a bit scary. This is a bit scary. Uh, first of all, let's do that. We're going to keep on pumping this. Very necessary. I We want to do that again, don't we? Headbutt would be move back one. Self chance to change to human. Headbutt chance. The stun chance is pretty darn low. Um, It's pretty darn low. We could just go with bleed, but I don't think this tree can... Oh, no, the tree can bleed. It's already bleeding. So I think we do go for this with a more bleed chance. Really? Its bleed resist is 32. Oh, my God. That hurt. That hurt. And it's moving us around as well. That's the worst part. The The maneuvering of it all is pretty bad. Uh, do you know what? Let's use this. We, we not only got a crit there, we not only got a stun there, but we also lowered prot, which I think is hugely important. Looks like this thing gets two moves as well. This is a really interesting but very tough boss. I'm, I, I'm, I'm glad we finally found it after such a long time, but at the same time, it's pretty scary. Pretty scary stuff. I'm hoping all the extra dodging and everything's helping out. I'm annoyed that we keep having to move people around, though. That is... Particularly annoying, especially... Oh, we can dodge the Noose Titans. Okay. I just... I assumed it was something that we couldn't dodge. Another good hit there. No stun this time, I don't think. But the minus prop is going to mean a huge amount in just a moment. Join us. That hits everyone this time. Lots of horror coming in. But you gave us restoration. That's great. Oh, God. This is scary. This is not what I was prepared or uh, expecting. But it's very fun. Uh, can we not up our light while we're in this? And there you go. This wasn't working for some reason then. Um, now nah, I think I think we carry on with the battle ballad. The battle ballad's too strong right now. Um, heal for seventy percent of damage done. This is kind of bad. I think we just go for this anyways, because just for a bit of the healing and to move forward. There we go. Yeah, it's only a small amount of healing really at the end of the day. But it's enough to tide us over. These are the sort of fights that, that, that having your healing spread apart among a bunch of people is kind of a bad idea. Doing less healing uh, among everyone. No resist. Uh, sorry, no uh, prop um, removal that time. Oh, you healed that time. That's new. Face the gallows again. Sadly, that doesn't activate repost. I was really hoping it would. Let's quickly de-stress you a little bit. 16 off of you, that's great. Yeah, go for another one of those for more healing. Far and well, we'll form. We can do a lot here. The dodge is good. Everyone's healed up and looking nice. News Titans here. Luckily, lots of HP here. That's bad, though. Maneuvering you all the way to the back is not going to work for us. Join us again. That's more stress incoming here. We did resist the horror on a few people there. Nick once more facing the gallows. We, we, we're getting close. We are getting close, but... I think we just go for an attack here and go for the bleed. Yeah. 
Even though the battle ballad's so good, we kind of needed that at that point. Right. That's nice as well. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Just the maneuverability of our group here is a bit off. Uh, let's quickly get rid of this bleed, because why the hell wouldn't we? Go for a thrust 14 crit is great there. I wonder if we're going to get any specific trinkets for doing this. This seems like a boss that would give a special trinket. Leech Root again. Oh my god, 15 healing each time for that. That's very annoying. Ah, face the gallows on the weakest person is definitely annoying. There you go. Okay, good amount of bleed here. Try and get some more bleed on there. Ah. Go for the dodge and the heal. Please say we dodged this. Oh, no, it died on the bleed. Nice one. And we did indeed get a trinket. Um, I'm assuming that's specific to this fight. Minus 20% stress in the wield. Minus 10% damage. Plus 10%. Like, that's that's all good stuff. Uh, we're going to get rid of that and grab that. We're going to get rid of that and grab that. Great stuff. That was a great little fight there. I wasn't expecting that to go as well as it did. Um, it's very, very pleasantly surprised. This this team handled it very nicely, actually. Uh, we definitely want to do some stress healing on our next few fights, though. I think we still want to start with Battle Ballad no matter what. But we'll, like, if we get the opportunity, move into the healing after the fact. I think that's going to work out. Ah, oh, I opened it with the wrong person again. I'm sorry, Octavia. I'm sure you're kind of annoyed at that, but hey, her. Right, let's keep going. Oh, for God's sake, Nick. Stop touching things. But Nick, stop touching things. You're a bit of a bit of an annoyance, aren't you? Aren't you, Nick? You're a bit of an annoyance. My goodness. No fight here as well. We're getting kind of lucky with the uh, with the lack of fights. It's always one of those double-edged swords with the lack of fights. Because it's like, it's nice because it's less risk on these level 5 missions where it is so risky. But it's also not not good because obviously you don't want to make your way through a full dungeon, not do anything. You want to be uh, you want to be attacking things and killing stuff and getting rewards. But yeah, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I, I prefer fighting more, but it also does scare me on these level 5 missions. There's some enemies that we can come across here that are just so very brutal. So very brutal. We've only got two shovels left, so I really hope that doesn't screw us over here. It very easily could. We've got enough space left for that to be a problem. Getting a good amount of torches left. Probably only got one or two more rooms. Ah, oh, we this is a pretty bad ensemble of enemies right here. So yeah, we start off with Battle Ballad and then we move into the stress relief after the fact. Scamper. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a pain. This guy's gonna be a real pain. Didn't mean to attack you. Whoopsie. Devour's also an annoying attack. It can do a lot of damage and heal him. But when we're doing 17 crits to him, and um, repo activating repose and everything, can't really complain. Let's do that. Crit on the wrong person, but it's a stress heal nonetheless. Call of the Wild. I keep thinking it's Call of the Wild. Call of the Wield. Nice. That's you dead. Well, I say dead. Oh, dead meat's kind of annoying, though. If this guy tries to devour us, it's going to be pretty horrible. So now we go with a stress heal on you. Pretty significant already. If we can get a few of those out, that'd be great. Oh, no. Not only did we transform human there, but we missed. No healing, no damage dealt. But we got the dodge nonetheless, so... Not as terrible as it otherwise would be, but still kind of annoying. Luckily, the devour missed. That's, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, could... Can we stop getting diseases, please? We've had so many diseases at the moment. Holy hell. Influx minus 20 dodge. Wasn't going to start bleeding during combat. You need to go, sir. You need to go. Right. Mostly getting the stress down from everyone here. There you go. Nice crit against you. Really? One HP? Do you have to, sir? Do you have to? He's going to scamper. Heal up here. This has been a very, very good uh, mission so far, though. Okay, this guy's going to call for reinforcements. Yep. I'm still going to kill you first, though, because you can buff other things. These guys can activate prop, but we now know that we have a pretty simple way to remove uh, enemies' prop. And get a stun out there as well at the same time. So I think that takes priority at the moment. We're definitely going to battle ballad again here. Don't call another one, please. 
Okay. Oh, such good crits right now. We're dealing so much damage. You're dead. Great. And this guy is only just being called in, so he's not going to end up um, calling in reinforcements. Nice. Slap that open. Open it to the wrong person again. Ugh. So annoying. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Actually, no, let's 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 go up and fight this battle because it might be the collector, and I kind of feel confident with the collector right now. It's not. We do get the surprise here, which helps. Yeah, I'm gonna say I feel a bit confident with the collector now. I'm sure that's a uh, a bad attitude, really. Stunned you. That's actually fantastic to start out here. We even got the kill. We should, probably should have lowered this guy's prop more, more so, honestly. Lowering his, his prop and stunning him would have been way better. He has more prop. This guy doesn't even have prop to start with. But they do have 32 dodge, so getting him off the bat is pretty good. Caught a little wield once more. Gives everyone... Okay, so this guy's got 70 prop now. We really need to get a bleed started up on him, really. That's going to be the, the main way that we finish him off. That devour didn't do too much to for us, to be honest. We are going to be dodging pretty much every attack that comes at us, though, nonetheless. Nice. Only one bleed there, though. Accursion. No thank you, no thank you. Don't start bleeding, yeah. Okay, actually, to be fair, that, that, that bleed is like nothing, so I don't really care. Okay, nice crit should guarantee a stun. And minus that prot a little bit. Not too much, just down back to 50%, but it's obviously better than nothing. Ugh. Oh. Cicadas calling in their army. Very annoying. Very annoying indeed, but it's what we got to deal with. Should be absolutely fine. Let's go for the feast again. That didn't kill anything, but it did give us all the healing that time. Oh, well, it did kind of kill something. And actually, I think it killed you as well. Yeah, you got 3 HP. That's great. Stop with this. 40% pro. He's got 70% with minus 20% already. This is bullshit, my god. Started bleeding again, are you kidding me? <laughs> Stop. There you go, stab through the heart. And it's okay. We need to kill this guy before he actually calls him reinforcements, really. That, that's probably the better play here. I misplayed that somewhat. It's okay, though. That was beautiful. Huge uh, bleed and huge crit damage alongside it. Nice crit damage and nice bleed. You're dead. That's fantastic. Look at that. That worked out really well. Right, you open this. Empty, why? Why do you do this to me, game? I am going to continue. I am, I am prepared and ready to continue for this adventure. I kind of do want to fight the Collector. We're missing, like, Dismas's head still and a few other heads. Like, Dismas's head is 20% damage for 20% stress, I think, which is just such a good trade, and we still haven't found it yet, so it would be great to get that. And the money as well. We did we did just spend quite a lot of money, so the money would be good. And all of the extra money that we could get from Octavia if she could find a single thing with any loot in it. This isn't too bad. This is more of a classic uh, ensemble here. We can deal with this. More of a classic set. I always forget that this D is modded. This does have some prot, doesn't it? Yeah, let's lower, let's lower that prot. Unfortunately, it resisted it. The debuff resist. I always forget to check debuff resist before I try things. Not a big deal, really, but it is something that I should keep an eye on a little bit more. Mark Prey with the repost there. Great. Heal you back up. We do need to get some stress relief on, on here with Nick, though. That would be really nice. There you go. And 23. You might want to do that two or three times, actually. Just to get down there as much as possible. Everyone else is sitting pretty, to be honest. Stress has managed to subside, mostly. The the dodge plus repurse combo here is so nice. We're not moving for you. Nice hit on everyone there across the board. Dog's dead. Sorry, doggy. Escape Cloud is annoying because that is going to blight us, but activates Repurse nonetheless, so not too bad. Go for another one of them on you. 
seven stress. Okay, now it's only really uh, Canis that needs it. But we're probably going to end up killing one of them here at least. There you go. Only two healed for that, really. I suppose it's not damage dealt. It's the amount of health taken off enemies that it heals for. Oh, no, we got 12 there. Okay. We've got exactly 16 stress. I'm hoping we can get one more stress uh, stress heal in there. I don't want to kill you yet. <laughs> Trying to avoid it. There you go. Zero stress, eight stress, seven stress. Coming out of this in a good position. And eat you up. Lovely. One more to go. Okay, this could be it. This could be the collector. I think we're ready. Activated with the wrong person again. It's not, but it is a treasurer. A treasurer is pretty good for us to get. Um, we didn't get a surprise or anything, so this guy is going to get to go first. Cover me is annoying. It means it's a lot harder to hit this dude. We're probably not going to be able to get him, to be honest, just because he's very hard to hit at the moment for us. We don't have a lot of backline damage, to be honest. That's huge, though. That's huge. Ow. Okay. Indeed, how quickly the tide turns. That was unexpected. Very unexpected. That kills you, though. Yeah, this guy's easily going to get another turn in here and uh, skedaddle, skadoodle, vamoose, I think it's called the move. Right, get another one of those going. So, yeah, sadly, he's a bit too far back for us, really. There ain't nothing we can do about that. Unless we could stun him, but unless he's up front, we can't really stun him. Yeah, cover me. That's going to up his dodge a bunch. And there you go. He's got the getaway. He's ready to go. We need some, like, big repurse or something on the stab, but he's not going to bother doing the stab, so. Nice. We're getting such good crits with Canis right now. We've moved him forward one, but we'd have to kill him in a single hit here. I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Sadly not. We'd have to have gotten a crit there. Oh, we, we could. Ah, I would say we could have got him there. Oh, you 26 crit on the body, did you? But you missed this guy. There you go. He's off. Goodbye. I'll do that to lower your accuracy. <laughs> See you later, dude. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. A rushed shot. Sorry, guy, but you're outnumbered a bit here. Probably not the best decision for you to fight. A jester, a werewolf, among, among everything else here. In fact, we might be able to keep you alive a little bit. Let's try and um, headbutt to stun you. Yes. This gives us one extra turn. Lower your accuracy as well. Get a block there. Clear debuffs. I kind of forgot how strong that is. Then we go with this one here. And there you go. We have a complete, com complete clean bill of health. In terms of stress. Zero, 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 zero. Please don't give us one stress here. Great. We just managed to leave the dungeon with zero stress. That was pretty fantastic. And there you go. Success Quest complete. So we move back. And that was very successful. That went great. Great diary. And then a, 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 a very nice little adventure out. Everyone reached level six. Good stuff. Let them arrive on Harried. And then let's see who exactly we've got in our uh, in our stagecoach here. Our estate was the envy of this land. Let's have a little look, see. Sadly, somehow only level fours, which is unfortunate. We we do have some good classes here. We have the cleric errant, which is one of the new ones. We have the templar, which is one of the new ones. Um, we have a janistry, but all level fours. I'll have to address that in the next episode and try and up the level five. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one.